welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video today I am actually going to be testing something very exciting and that is Poundland makeup because I did go into Poundland yesterday and my plan was to not spend any money because I'm trying to save however when I got to the makeup section in Poundland I was actually amazed at the the products like the packaging on a lot of them it look like the makeup dupes for other brands and that is why I decided to buy some bits and test it out in today's video so I did actually spend £18 worth on the makeup I did actually get a new yeah, what is this a twin pencil sharpener so it's basically just like an eyeliner and lip liner sharpener so that was a pound but if you take that off I basically spent £17 on, on makeup and I actually got how many products did I get? I got 11 products so yeah that isn't too bad obviously like a few things weren't they just one pound because obviously when it comes to makeup it can be quite expensive stuff to get hold of so the majority of it it was a pound but I am really excited to test all these makeup products out because I've never tried pound line makeup before so I'm going to put it to the test and give my honest review on each product and maybe I might have a new favourite to add into my collection who knows I'm actually really excited so before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up it would be nice to get to a like goal of 30 likes on this video because you know we need to hit these kind of bigger goals these days you know and also leave a comment and subscribe because we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers and I will be doing a giveaway when we reach 4,000 subscribers so please make sure to subscribe but without further ado, let's go on with the so video. Here we go. So, I think I've pretty much managed to get every product in each department. However, when it came to eyebrows, I thought I picked up an eyebrow pencil. But instead, I picked up a brown uh, soft coal eyeliner. But I'm hoping it's going to be okay. I did get a brown colour, but it looks really dark brown. I don't know if you can see on there but that is the colour so I'm hoping it might be okay I never like to use a really sharp eyebrow pencil I usually use eyebrow pomades but I'm just going to kind of soften this down so like it isn't too sharp because like it'll seem like a weird line on my eyebrows and I also got a brow gel I will be using this at the end so this brow gel was a pound and this eyeliner it was a pound I got the eyeliner in a brown for I'm pretty sure they had eyebrow pencils, but I just thought this was an eyebrow pencil. But they did have eyeliners as well, but I typically didn't get one. But yeah, I'm pretty excited because the main reason why I was having a look at the makeup was because I wanted a new brow gel because I'm currently using the one from Home Bargains and it's actually really good. I think it's the Yellow Via Hill one. So this first, like, oh my god, brow gel for a pound. This is in the shade. Uh, two brunettes, like it's like a a lighter brown. Oh my god, who else hates this type of packaging where like it won't come off? But yeah, I'm really excited because I just love makeup really. So I'm firstly going to try and attempt to use this really dark eyeliner on my eyebrows. I feel as if it's going to give me really dark eyebrows, but I usually use a pencil. I will be using the other all makeup brushes as well. It did actually have a lot of makeup brushes and it did look really nice but I decided not to get them because I do just get some new ones for Christmas. If you ever need some cheap makeup brushes definitely head over to Poundland. Anyway I'm just going to line the bottom of my eyebrows. It's going to be so dark I already know. And because I've not actually used an eyebrow pencil in ages I feel like I'm not going to be any good at like using this because I'm used to having like what is like an eyebrow for mid? It's like a paste in a way, isn't it? It's like a pasty product, but yeah. Actually, this might be my colour. Look, my eyebrows are darker compared to the hair on my head. So, yeah. I just need to adjust to having an eyebrow pencil because I'm not used to using this. But, so far, it's building up nicely. It's quite easy to apply. It's also taken out a few eyebrow hairs here and there. And it does seem pretty blendable, considering it is an eyeliner, it seems to be working okay. Right, okay, that's not too bad. 
been my first attempt for an eyebrow pencil on my eyebrows. I think I'll kind of brush it out to blend it a bit on the top bit. What did I tell you about the eyebrow situation? One eyebrow always goes better than the other. I think it might be like a psychological type thing where in your head you'll do the second one worse. I don't know but I did have to sharpen the pencil up after this eyebrow because like it was pretty blunt. I mean I did kind of rub a lot of product onto my hand just to test the shade but the, like the, the eyeliner sharpeners are really good and are really sharp as well. Plus you get a two for a pound so yeah like yeah, that is a really good buy I think. So yeah so moving on to the kind of eye base. I'm just going to be using the same concealer for eyes and also like under my eyes as well because I, I will definitely need to pile the concealer on. I got in the makeup gallery hide and the chic chic super size liquid concealer now how similar does this look to the Tarte concealer and also the makeup revolution and that's the main reason why I, I got it because I absolutely love the revolution concealer I've never actually tried the Tarte one because it is like 29 quid and I personally love the revolution one but this concealer was £3 so like you're obviously paying for the, the packaging but it does look really pretty and it was more expensive compared to the other concealer and I thought well I'm still on a budget kind of shopping for makeup so I might as well get this and this is in the shade the one swan because I am pretty pale and to be honest the kind of shade the range wasn't the best I think they only had like five or six shades and the next shade up from this pretty orangey tone so I thought I would stick to you know, the lighter shade and at least I won't look like an orange you know but this is you know, the concealer it's really lightweight it actually looks really nice and it looks exactly like the revolution one let's look at the wand oh my god it's exactly the same it, it doesn't really smell of anything either sometimes cheaper makeup can have a bit of a weird smell but it's got the same applicator as the revolution one like how weird is that but anyway i am actually going to put this on here wow oh my god it feels so creamy and a little product that goes a long way so what i'm going to use is in my little morphe brush and i'm just going to carve this underneath my eyebrows i usually use the p louise base but obviously they didn't if we have a jeep for the P. Louise thing. So now that I have an eye base on, I am now going to be testing out an eyeshadow palette. And here I have the All About the Shadow Eyeshadow Squad. So basically, it's like a little eyeshadow palette. How cute is that? For starters, this it, it will be really good for travelling with because there is nothing worse. Oh my god, I nearly dropped it. There is nothing worse than having to bring a massive Morphe palette with you because... You don't have like any mini ones. This has four lovely shades in it. It's got two shimmers and two mattes. And it's got a champagne shimmer, a gold shimmer, a baby pink and like a lovely brown. And it did have quite a few eyeshadow products. But I thought it is one for every day. It is really nice. And this is the five the rose gold palettes. This is the palette here. Like how nice is that? It's actually amazing. I'm hoping that will focus, I'm actually going to show you and see what it looks like. So that is the eyeshadow palette, like it's actually so cute. So what I'm going to be using is one of my brushes. I'm firstly going to go in with the shade, the brown shade. It's not actually a name for the shade, but it just says on the back, four highly pigmented blendable shades with a velvet smooth texture. They're perfect for your day to night look. So if the pigmentation is as good as it says on the packaging, I am actually going to use this for like travels because it'll, it won't take up any space in my makeup bag so I'm just going to go in with the brown shade. Right, okay. It looks exactly like the colour that I use for myself normally anyway so I will be chuffed if this actually does work. <gasps> okay. Right, whoa. It's like just one kind of layer of eyeshadow and so far 
that that is what it looks like. It's definitely got a soft kind of texture to it and yeah, the pigmentation is pretty decent to be honest. It's, pro it's probably nearly on par with my Morphe eyeshadow palettes. If it does blend out okay, I might actually use this as a little travel palette because I think it is really nice. That's like the, you know, the brown colour on and then I'll use like a softer brush and like a little touch of brown just to uh, blend it and kind of soften the edges so that it isn't just a block colour. It just blend out really nicely which I'm really surprised about and it was only one pound and it's got four different colours in it and it does feel very soft. I know what they mean about it being very soft because it actually does feel very soft on your eyes and not too heavy. So now I'm actually going to go in with one of the shimmers. I'm actually damp in my little brush and kind of pat it on with that. So I'm going to use like my P. Louise brush. I think I'm going to go for like the gold because gold is really pretty and I'm hoping I can just kind of pat it on my lid like so. <gasps> Wow, that's so pretty. It's obviously not as pigmented as the other shimmers I have in, like, in, the Mo in my Morphe palettes because I use Morphe all the time but for like a little kind of the palette to take on the travels I think it's very good. I also have a lovely new white a jumper on today so it's probably going to be stained with makeup after this but you know what, it's fine. Eyes are now all done. To be honest, as much as I love the brown shade in this the gold is not as buildable on the lid, even with the help of like a bit of setting spray. I think it's because it's more of like a powdery product. I know that eyeshadows are obviously powder products, but I mean, it's a bit more crumbly compared to the ones that I use personally. However, that brown colour, if you love a lovely kind of soft brown like this, like it's actually stunning. It's perfect for like a glam kind of eye look. Honestly, obsessed with the colour. I'm now actually going to be putting a bit of eyeliner on in my lash line, or waterline, I mean. I'm just going to sharpen it. It is obviously like a dark a brown colour, but I think it'll look more black on my eyes. I usually use a gel liner for this, but I'm just going to have to risk it all today and just use this. So what I'm going to do is just line it I'm scared it's going to poke my eye because I feel like I'm I'm really not the best at this. So far, it's not the best for like waterline. Yeah, so that's probably a fail for eyeliner and it's more better for eyebrows. I think they should rebrand this eyebrow pencil. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry Poundland. I love the makeup so far but this is actually better for eyebrows. Maybe it was a mistake, I don't know. But... It's not very pigmented on the eyes anyway. Next up is mascara. Now, how cute does this look? These are part of the same collection. Honestly, the packaging, I am all here for it. And if this mascara is good, I will actually use this as an everyday mascara. Like, sometimes the cheaper things in life are actually better than the expensive things. So, if it actually does work and make your lashes, it looks like you've got like eyelash extensions on then I will be hoping it to wear this every day because I currently use the Maybelline one the lash sensational and that mascara is absolutely sensational <laughs> no but it actually is I'm actually being serious yeah, but anyway we're not talking about the Maybelline we're talking about Poundland today so the first thing it says in the bomb the mascara which it just kind of make you think like wow is it going to make your lashes like really long? I hope so. The packaging is really pretty and pink. It actually it actually does look quite expensive. And let's look at the wand. Yeah, the wand isn't too bad either. I think it's a pretty decent wand. It looks like it can make your lashes thick. So, it does smell a bit of paint, mind. It doesn't have the nicest smell in the world, but I don't think mascaras do really. So, I'm just obviously going to put this on my lashes and hope for the best. Now, what I'm getting is, I obviously have old eyelash glue on my lashes, so I think it is kind of clinging onto the glue, but so far, it is making the lashes they're very dark and very volumised actually. Not as volumised as the other mascara I use at home. If you're wanting 
the more kind of natural eyelashes but still a bit of colour and a bit of volume to them I definitely would recommend this I definitely think oh my god the sun is blinding me right now at least it just off my eyes but yeah now this mascara I do rate it actually at three pounds you can't really go wrong oh yeah a funny thing in Poundland actually it actually had like a Rimmel makeup in there for a pound like the full on foundations and lipsticks and like the nail polishes for a pound so if you may be thinking of going into boots or super drug free makeup definitely have a look in Poundland because they don't just have their own range of makeup they actually have like other branded makeup which I find really weird but also quite interesting at the same time but yes yeah, this mascara if I had to rate it out of 10 I would probably give it an 8.5 it's definitely done something to my lashes it's a very black colour which I like I don't think it's waterproof it is vegan actually yeah, that's very good to know so if you were maybe you wanted to try like a new mascara out and you maybe didn't want to you have it tested on animals it is vegan which is really good but yeah I think it actually does it made my eyelashes look really good and you can definitely build it up in the wand it's very easy to use it doesn't it make it smudge onto like your eyelids because it's nothing worse than that but yeah I, I definitely rate the, the, the mascara and I think it is really cute and it will be part of my new kind of everyday mascara for work I'd say because it actually does make your lashes look so nice oh my god this sun is blinding my eyes I really can't get over this eyebrow I apologise how appalling I look on my brows but it obviously gets a bit too dark for me the colour <laughs> look at that really but yeah anyway so now it is eyelash time I'm not going to lie to you guys I have had these eyelashes for quite a while they are from Poundland the Fern McCann the ones and they've now actually brought out some eyelashes with like a different person now um, which actually did it look really nice and natural but these are definitely not the natural it does say here the dramatic oh yeah and you actually do have glue actually that's quite good so should we test the glue out I think we'll actually test the glue out today because it is Palmer's makeup and end of the day so it is a clear eyelash glue which I've never actually tried like a full on clear eyelash glue I've obviously tried like a white one but yeah so here's like the lash so far then I'm just going to uh, test it against my actual eyes. The one thing I will say is the band does feel very like hard. Like it isn't going to like it, it give you like any leeway. So maybe if I bend the lash a little bit. We'll wait and see. If I'm allergic to this because I'm actually allergic to the dual lash glue. But I still use it because like, my eyes haven't swollen up just yet. But if I'm allergic to this and like my eyes swell up, well, the video's over. So wish me luck. The glue just smells really funny. It smells like off milk. Oh, that's kind of minging. Yeah, they've actually applied all right. Oh my god. Yeah, they're actually really nice eyelashes. Why have I not used them sooner? Like, they're not the two in your face eyelashes. And they've actually applied all right on my eyes. I might have to top up like a bit of mascara to kind of hide my natural eyelashes, but... For the first time putting them on, and the, the glue's actually not too bad either, I would still use like the one that I use, but for Palmland eyelash glue, I don't think that it's too bad. The both eyelashes are on, and I absolutely love them to be honest. Like, I think I could probably wear them more often. Like, even though they were kind of tricky to apply, I maybe wouldn't use the glue again either, but I think. I definitely have to kind of bend the band until like it was a bit more bendy because I like having a bendy band. <laughs> I don't have a primer because I don't know if it's actually a sold one so I use my Too Faced one that's already on my face. So I'm all primed so now it is time for foundation. Now I've gone for like the same range as these two so I've got the Keep On Glowing Illuminating Foundation the lightest shade in it just says the light coverage. Why is there a shade? Or swan. So these are meant to be the same colour. I'm hoping they will be because I'd be a bit embarrassing if the concealer was darker than the foundation. But again, the packaging is lovely. Like, I love the pinky rosy gold colour with the nude because I love my nudes and pinks. Like, I literally obsess. So this is like 
they're the perfect kind of combo. If they did have another foundation, but it was a pound. If this product it was three pounds and a four again, well, when it comes to face products, I think spending more is better. So I'm just gonna apply this onto my face and hope for the best. And to be honest, I was expecting it, it to be very runny, but it does feel very thick actually, which I'm surprised about. Obviously, some people are going to be cringed out at me doing this, but it's because I don't want to get any foundation on my hands because it's nothing worse. It's not actually smell of anything, it just smells like normal, if you know what I mean, but I'm obviously just going to use like a brush to blend it out with. It's very watery. Yeah, it's very watery. Like, a very... It does feel very, like, cold on your face, which is good for, like, if summertime, or, like, even if you have, like, a warm face. Like, it'll definitely cool your face down, but I feel like... Oh, it must have done nothing. I've been better with the brush. Right, okay, so let's just pretend that it's blending out, like, really nicely, and that, like, I've got, like, a lovely smooth skin right now. It might actually blend out better if I buff it in instead of... Yeah, it's actually doing something. I don't have like any weird brush marks when I do that. I've probably put too much on, as I keep saying. It looks like I've got a really dry skin. I, I feel as if it is going to dry my skin out because it does feel really hydrating. Which is a good thing, but also can be bad. Yeah, I definitely don't like how it's blending into my skin. I definitely have put too much product on. I think if I put the half the amount of product on, I, I don't think it would be as bad. I don't know, actually. I've, I don't know. This is the worst product I've used by far. Yeah, it's not doing it for me. It might be nicer on someone else's skin. I do have oily skin, so that could be a factor. In, yeah, it's if you come off my face when I try and blend it in. I don't know what to do. I've, I've tried everything. I, I've, yeah, I'm trying, guys. I just don't know why it's coming off my skin. I definitely think you shouldn't waste your £3 on this because it's really oxidised and gone orange in my face already. And if you don't know what oxidised means, it basically means the product is changing colour or going really weird on your skin after like the oxygen's got to it. It's actually it gone alright on my forehead, but everywhere else it's literally gone weird. So I have give it a fair chance. It's just coming off my face. It's coming off my cheeks. It could have something to do with the primer. However, I did put the primer all over my face and it actually worked all right on my forehead, but nowhere else. So I'm going to move on to concealer. But now time for the lovely concealer. I love this product. If the foundation it was the same consistency as this, it would actually be really nice. But I'm definitely going to have to pile it on. Because it's actually oxidised, it's, it's going to make you know, the concealer look really white. When you know, the foundation was this shade at the start. So if you think you know, the foundation was this shade and now it's gone orange, like, what is that about? I don't know what to use. I usually use a concealer, like a brush. I'm just going to go for the brush. And hopefully this might add a bit of nice coverage, I don't know. This concealer is the same price and it's so much better. Like, it look how nice that looks under my eyes. I'm now moving on to pressed powder. This was actually £3. It's, it, it smoothly does it. The pressed powder in the shade, the, the translucent once. This should set the lovely oxidised foundation and beautiful concealer. So now I'm just going to use... Aerial Techniques brush, this is like the powder. I've got high hopes for this, I feel like this is actually going to work. Yeah, obviously it's just a powder, it's like it, it's obviously just going to set the product. And my face looks absolutely terrible, I would not leave the house They're looking like this. I do actually like that as well, and that's for £3, again, really good. So next up we have the, the Good To Glow, the matte the bronzer. I don't like it says Good To Glow and it says matte underneath but like it, it's either got to be one or the other and now i got a medium too because it was like the lightest shade wasn't there so it may be very orange toned it does look really orange but I'm ho i've got high hopes for this because 
I actually need a new bronzer for myself because mine is literally hip hand for year, like for like over a year. But I just can't bother getting a new one. So I'm hoping this is actually gonna. It will hopefully do something. It might be too dark, but if it does blend okay, I can use this as like a foundation. Uh, not a foundation, a fake tan, a bronzer. So that's like the colour. I'll just use my Real Techniques brush. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of product on because a little can go a long way, and I don't. They want to overdo it like the foundation i definitely think it's a nice bronzer it's they're playing nicely it's not too orangey actually it's quite like in the middle between a light and orange i think it's it could get really orange if like you put a lot of product on it's definitely very buildable which is what i like in the bronzer and i think the bronzer was only a pound actually if I remember rightly, I think it was just a pound. Well, maybe it was two pounds, I can't remember, because not everything was a pound. If I had a lovely smooth base, it would look amazing, but because I don't, it has obviously added like a bit of colour to my face and stuff. I'm just going to blend it out lightly on my face, I don't want to do too much because I'll probably take off all the foundation. Yeah, okay. The other bronzer, I don't think it's too bad. I think I've got to use it when. I've got like fake tan on because I think it will be better but yeah so far so good I think it's blended okay it's not my shade but it, it was hard to work with it haven't we right so moving on to blusher I have the feeling blush a little palette how cute is that it's a duo blusher a super soft blush powder with vitamin E and it's in the shade the matte one so I think they had a, a few little blusher palettes these are such good ideas for like if I travel because as I said I just hope it actually works really nicely and it's a lovely colour um, so hopefully it will be the same I think I'm gonna maybe mix them both I'll maybe go for like the darker colour first and I also have, like a bit of the lighter one on first I was using a little flat brush and obviously just gonna put this on on here right I, I think I maybe should have uh, uh, gone for the lighter colour first <laughs> Oh no. The blusher is very pigmented and for a pound again, I think yeah, the, yeah, the darker one's better for when like, you have a bit of tan on. I don't really have much to say about it because it, it's just a blusher. I've only recently started using blusher since uh, the new year so I'm actually really liking my blusher so that'll be something I will have to try out more than once I think and see if I do really like it even more. I'm just going to add a bit of excess eyeshadow like underneath my eyes to just add a bit of colour because I like I like doing that, so I'm just going to go in maybe with the brown shade again and see how it reacts on the bottom lash and see if there's much downfall as well. I've got to test the downfall. There's no downfall at all, and that was really easy to put that on actually. So far, I'm feeling pretty happy with the makeup. So, next up, we have the lip products. So, they are very different colours, but I am going to make it work. So, I have a lip liner in Plum Crush because, because, because there was only two colours, a bright pink and this, a lighter version of in my Morphe Crush uh, lip liner. It's actually very pinky purple, but actually it's actually not alright, like, it's actually alright. You know, so I've got a lip liner that's a pound and I've got a lipstick, it's all about the pout, the lipstick in the shade 23 London. It was the last the nude colour um, because yeah, the rest it were like it really bright and tacky the bright pinks and stuff but yeah, these are definitely not are going to go but I'm just going to line my lips anyway and see how it goes on okay wow I like that actually that's really nice I like to overline my lips by the way I'm not like I am mean, doing it on purpose actually. It's definitely going to be very mismatched on my lips but I don't care. So next up is the shade London. It's like a lovely nude. It's like, yeah, this reminds me of Velvet Teddy actually which I'm actually uh, quite excited to use. It's actually blended really nicely with that um, a lip liner actually. It's not a matte lipstick. It's like a, it's called a moisturised lipstick. It's like a, what's the other word for it? It's like a, a glossy lipstick and it's actually gone okay if the if the lip line so it's actually blended out okay i really like the other lipstick it's if you're not a matte lover 
you'll absolutely love this. I think it is really nice. It did have a lot of shades in this. It's actually a nice range. Well, a kind of brighter out there range of colours, but a nice nude colour. Yes, yeah, so, so far I'm really happy with that. I'm going to add a bit of mascara onto yeah, the bottom lashes and see how it applies on the bottom as well. I think it'll actually be alright. I love this mascara. I actually really like it. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that is really good. So, final product, which I'm very excited to use, even though I probably don't need any more colour on my eyebrows because they're very dark and, and, and thick due to the eyebrow pencil. I'm going to be using their Slay the Brow Gel in Brunette. Two Brunette. So let's have a look at the wand. It's such a tiny wand. The smaller the wand, the better usually, in my opinion, because I think it's more precise. So what I do with my eyebrows, I usually brush the hairs up. At least I got a lighter colour, because I think if I got like a dark brown, I think it would make my eyebrows look really black. They're a bit more watery, but I think it's alright. It does the job. Um, let's have my little brows again. Yeah. yeah. The brows are definitely having like a very dark and thick day. Yes, yeah, so let's just pretend... I've just kind of had them tinted or something and like I put more product on even though I haven't. But yeah, here is the finished makeup look. It's very different. The eyes aren't different, but they fade like the from my nose kind of down. It's it's very different for me. I've got a a dark blusher on. I've got a really orange bronzer on. I've got a a horrible foundation on. Yeah. yeah. But if I had to rate them all out of 10, if I had to say, like, below the two, like, the 2 out of 10, I'd have to go with the foundation. I think nothing, it was as bad as this. I just hated it, and it just, it, it's not even stuck onto my skin properly, like, it literally came off, and it's oxidised really badly so I hate that. Yeah, that is definitely a 1 out of 10. Then I'll probably go the eyeliner it's probably like a 4 out of 10 it isn't too bad. A 6 out of 10 I go blusher then I'd say powder probably like a 7 out of 10 because it's like a powder and I'll probably go for like the bronzer like a 7 out of 10 it's just like a bronzer like it's not really much and then probably like an 8 out of 10 I'd go for the with well, all of these actually, the lipstick, the lip liner, the eyebrow gel and the eyeshadow because they are really good but not as good as these two beauties right here honestly. If I had to recommend anybody like any makeup products from Poundland I would recommend them. These, the mascara is so lovely and it's like a subtle nice mascara but you can build it up and the concealer is like a lighter coverage. It does feel really light and soft on your skin so I would highly recommend these two honestly i have actually enjoyed filming this video if you guys would like me to film some more kind of testing videos it could be like the testing other makeup brands it could be testing food it could be testing clothes please let me know and definitely head over to palmland and have a look at the makeup because they do have quite a lot of selection these days and as i said earlier in the video they do actually have branded makeup for a pound as well so definitely check it out but yeah, but if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, also subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody!